But yeah, it's my a way man you because you're not picking up. Well, I think there's a problem with the uh, the fans right now. My parents aren't answering either. Well, oh, just let you know. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to nix any plans we have for the next fourteen. Mother might give you a clue, but if not, I've been fucking sent home. Just after lunch, my boss beckoned me to go into room 113. So this is massive meeting room, so I, I thought it was going to be an impromptu meeting thing going on or something. But he edges away out the back of the room, my whole little hand like, starts to fall. My first thought was maybe I, I smelt a bit off, but you know, recycling it to work now. But, uh, and my second was that it's actually really selfish to have such a great big room for some one to one. It's all that, I kind of remember, you know, some of them old films, uh, Citizen Kane. The couple said, oh, the other end of the long, world's longest dinner table is on for a banquet for just hosting the two. And then they explained that somebody on the team had been diagnosed. And as such, I have to spend the next two weeks at home on my jack. I didn't even shake my hand out on the way out, but I. I can't want to see why. And they even brought up the fact they'd seen me cough and blow my nose when I came back in. I tried to explain I just had a fag outside, but it was cold. I could smell mustard. Oh, I made sure I'd gone shopping on the way back. Well, I tried to. No chickpeas. I nearly got into a fight trying to get the last uh, bottle of hand sanitizer. There's only so much from getting this like anyway. I mean, I could have bought like, the world of stuff and get a taxi. But even with my bike being left around and getting swiped, the taxi would have been useless anyway. The roads were gridlocked. I'm going to try for a home delivery as soon as I can. I could send these. So I'll be working from home for the next fortnight. It used to be a special privilege where you got to tour around. <laughs> we'll see. Bye. Oh yeah, man, this is like the worst detention ever. You know me, I, I like to be out and about, like, like, like that, normal life. And it's a mega shit, I'm not even ill. Okay, yeah. I've got a bit of a sore throat, but that's chain smoking. I know, I know you disapprove, but... I'm bored. You know what? I actually miss going into work, getting a chat with the guys. Look, just let me know you're okay, alright? Oh, not about the guys. I just want you to know the only reason I started smoking was I had an excuse to hang out with a guy at work who was cute and I thought might be gay before I met you, obviously. Turns out I had a wife and kids though, so I was in the hardy snooping there. <sighs> My gay dog's so fuck. But he's a cool bloke to chat to, and it's become a habit now. Chatting and smoking, Ron. Hope to hear from you soon. Thanks with all right. <laughs> like I said, it was before we met. Still no word from him and dad either. <laughs> Man. I finally got my delivery, but half of it was unavailable, and the other half was wrong. Seriously, if someone requests specifically collie bean burgers, they're clearly vegetarian and don't want chicken substitute. Christ, it's not looking too clever out there. I'm watching the news constantly. I'm surprised that my old mate Lex was fronting it last night. He does occasionally sometimes pop up, but he's normally doing like roaming re reporters type stuff. They ought to be chuffed. They could be an anchor man. Then I realised that the main presenter hadn't been on for a while. I don't know if that's suspicious or not. Lex certainly didn't look too pleased about his promotion. Pulled a miserable face throughout the whole, uh, whole proceedings, really. I suppose he knows it's uh, not exactly best form to. Uh, Announced that 500 more people have been diagnosed with a grin on his face. 
he was, he was stuttering with it as well. Like he used to at school if he was nervous or whatever. He'd be tired. I'm a bit grey. I think maybe there's a problem with my telly. Everything looks a bit grey. Like colour. It's fading from the world. It's not just the artist in me that's concerned by that. The irony is that a mate and me worked on a game about creating some mass epidemic. It's a pants gig from my perspective because they, they wanted really low-fi graphics. But I'd like to choose a suitably spooky music that was used. At the time, I questioned why they would want to play a game like that. You know, a bit morbid. I was told it was instructional for med students. Last I heard, it's been banned. Please respond, pick up, just get in touch. Please. A lot of phone networks are dodgy, but the internet's okay for now. Me again, your little stalker. I don't know if you're getting these. One didn't hope. And someone had shown my thoughts so he's with me. It's getting scary here. The power keeps cutting out. Telly's intermittent. So the news broadcasts. I didn't get to see Alex from the news again. Maybe I didn't like him looking worried biting his lips, stuttering, like a view at school. When you're supposed to be re reassuring the viewing public or... Mm, no, I'm not even going there. I put some trolls who had a go at his coughing at the start of the feature, right? Explaining he was just clearing his throat. I mean, that's what he was doing, right? Uh, when he sneezed part way through, he was set an example by using a tissue. Wasn't he? I keep hearing odd noises outside. If, if it's not guns, there's an awful lot of cars backfiring. There's a lot of helicopters. Who are they looking for? Folk brave the moo, risk the band going outside. What would they do if I did? <laughs> Send a pack of feral zombie robots to track me down. It's a good idea for a game now. I might sketch them out later. Any fresh food ran out two days ago. Got some back of the cupboard type stuff, but look at it helped me maintain the advice five a day. And despite the main supermarket still having had a delivery officially an option on the website, they suddenly tend to crash when you try and order. Which, you know, isn't great. And it's especially awkward because I'm, I'm getting low on loo roll. Sorry for oversharing there. I guess only one can't get tissues are gonna go for the next best alternative. Look, just respond, would ya? God's sake. Oh yeah. I don't even know if it's worth bothering doing this, but here it goes anyway. Well, the TV networks are shut down. Radio still seems alright though. The shipping forecast seems to be on a lot. Probably that it sounds calming, even though I don't know what they're on about. I wouldn't want to be on a ship right now. Imagine just being stuck there with potentially toxic people unwittingly infecting you. I mean, I'm stuck at home. Can see, but at least I don't have seasickness to do with. I went to Jersey via Catamaran when I was a kid. I made a mistake of looking out the window. I was probably sick when we got to the hotel. I think it was a motion sickness. It was either that or the bar of creme brulee. They served up all the psychedelic 70s wallpaper. I couldn't, wouldn't go now out. 
you know, if I want it to. It's either rain or hail interspersed with terrific heat. It's totally insane. I hear they've banned all public meetings. No more gigs. No more footy. Sounds like an anti-group meeting conspiracy to me. Well, they'd be torching libraries next. All the germs. You know, and back of the books. Fahrenheit 451. Air travel's been banned. Hence, perhaps, the increase with the shipping forecast. There's no more Trump protests. I miss out on them. I wonder if he arranged it all in some way to prevent them. But then he's demanding this instant fix, cure. Mm. Hell, I think I might have the cure that can help the whole world, but oh, well, I don't know. Oh, hang on, now Trump's asking for it. Oh, different story. Said no one ever. Sorry, <laughs> gone off on one. Mm. Several. Well, you know, I can get a bit crackpot, but no one else to feed to from you. Hey you, me again. I don't piss you off, so be pleased now I've stopped smoking. Not from choice, rather run out of bags. Also run out of fresh food. I think I mentioned uh, the other day. I have some canned stuff and st stuff in the freezer. Which I think I might just batch cook up in one big go in case the power goes out permanently. It's a bit hit and miss outing at any moment, but generally comes back on. But well, that low level of reliability tells me it might one time soon, it might not. But if there's no power, there's no heat, so it's cold right now. Anyway. But the, the food will keep okay, won't it? I don't know what you think. Oh, sorry, yeah, I won't get to know because you never answer. Crap boyfriend. A crap potentially incapacitated boyfriend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm just doing this into the void. Mum and Dad don't respond either, but then they were never that great with techie stuff. I even tried contacting Lex the X, my one-time newsreader. I got a response all right, but an out of hours automated thing stating he's off until the 31st of December 4000, which I guess is his company's mark date for the end of time. It's dark a lot here. I mean, it's not now, but it often is. Part of it's due to the power outages, but it never seems to get that light when it's supposed to be daytime either. I suppose part of it's the bad weather. But aren't they supposed to expand this time of year? No, I am. I'm so bored of matched up all my stray socks. I won't have to faff finding for the first thing. And they'll behave on their found annoying. I hope you still do. Meaning I hope you're still out there. Bloody hell, I love you! <laughs> Tell how things are getting desperate as the still surviving shipping forecast was read by someone with a Midlands accent today. Radio Four Stroke World Broadcast usually only employ a certain level of voice. Thus, booming some landlord we probably don't sound like we know what the sea is. You could probably carry a canal base feature with relative authority. It's a regularity caught my ears, and I wondered at first if it was Alex, but it wasn't because. Uh, we wrote a different name out afterwards. Hiya. Huh. Well, guess what? No one came. Some looters came to ransack the corner shop and just about see out the window through the smog. And no police. <sighs> TV's out by now, so I got me fix a drama in an immersive fashion. Some old guy I could see through the spy hole in my door was trying to get in, but I turned the lights out and shoved the sofa against the door, making out the place was vacant. 
to think think back to when you'd only have to do that when you're pretending you're out because the witnesses were troubling the doors always first thing a bloody Saturday morning when you're trying to get a kip as well maybe that's bad of me okay probably is but why risk germs entering my gaff it did look a bit sickly well I saw through a fish eye gap which it covered with phlegm bastard Go home. Oh. <laughs> Hang on. I am home. <laughs> Very much longer now. I forget. It feels like a prison. Still memories from mum and dad. I resign myself to the worst outcome. As they are, were getting on a bit. I miss them. I miss you too. <laughs> to be fair, I miss everything. <sighs> on the plus side, I cooked all the frozen stuff. It hasn't killed me yet. Some of it contains meat, though. A throwback from prior to vegan urine, which I didn't really do properly because I only went veggie, but I did it for longer, so I reckon that counts. I didn't have the time for checking every last ingredient. Now I have too much, or not enough, depending on how you view things. You won't answer, it doesn't matter. I need to vent, even if it's into a void. Why can Frank to Kitty a journal, you know? I've run out. <laughs> 